what's up, everybody? We are back to another edition of 95X Cares, your community animal rescue effort brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar. I'm Dixon, joined as always by Jenny. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Happy November. It's here. <laughs> it is. It is here. I'm not super stoked because, well, I am, right? Like in one regard, I'm excited because Thanksgiving is a fun holiday, but that uh, winter is right on its heels and I don't enjoy that. Okay, well, it is the like best holiday month, and as we're like tiptoeing towards Christmas, I'm going to just be ever growing in my chipperness. You can stay Scrooge if you need to, but hopefully, we'll like rub off the happy on you because I'm stoked that it's November. I'm gonna just think about turkey and be okay. At it. You're gonna be fine. We'll get you through it. <laughs> so it is rare that we come across. Uh, a dog up for adoption that is uh, like a purebred and like sought after breed. So that's what we have today with Sherlock, who is a dachshund, which I know there are like seven different ways to say that word. That's the way I say it. Or we can call like him it. a wiener dog. <laughs> we could. Uh, I too say dachshund uh, or wiener dog is totally fine. And yeah, Sherlock. Uh, I saw his picture once again coming across my feed, and I was like, ooh, who is this puppy, and what do we need to know about you? Uh, so Gertie's Small Dog Rescue is who is currently uh, taking care of Sherlock, and they said that he is fantastic with other dogs. In fact, uh, him going to a family who does have other dogs and another buddy for him to continue to learn and gain some confidence from is ideal for Sherlock. So fantastic with other dogs. Uh, he is good with kids. He is a little bit of a potato. Uh, he weighs about 20 pounds. So he is kind of in that era of his life where he just wants to like couch and snuggle. But exercise could be cool for him because that's big for a dachshund, I'd say. Uh, but nevertheless, he is completely vetted. He is up to date on all of his shots. He is neutered and he is ready to go home uh, for the holidays. See, that's why I like the time of year. I can say that. There you go. Well, he he definitely is a little <laughs> bit of a chonk for a little dog, but yes. he's adorable. And I can tell you as somebody who's had a multitude of middle-aged, older, small dogs, they are like right on your hip most of the time right mm -hmm. like if that's what you're looking for or hey like you millennials your parents need a dog this is the dog for them right like grandparents retired this is the dog for them it's like a little best friend that wants to go where you go and it is. small enough that you can i'm just gonna throw us out there like he could possibly be really good friends with wiggles too <laughs> uh i i fear in that scenario that wiggles would accidentally sit on him <laughs> i could see that all right never no mind spatial Start awareness better. no spatial awareness like 20 pounds <laughs> 110 pounds i don't know it would be like a, a very funny like the old tom and jerry cartoons with a little dog yeah. follows the big dog around except wiggles would be the little dog and it wouldn't make any sense i you know all right so scratch that idea we're gonna like go back to the public if anybody is looking for a small dog again we have a pure broad who's coming across and a small dog at that because i feel like I typically lean into like featuring more larger breed dogs. Um, so I was super excited when I saw Sherlock come across my feed and the fact that I'd be able to say like, hey, here's a little bit of diversity from my normal kind of thread that I hang out with. And I'm thinking that Sherlock is going to get adapted really quickly. But if he catches your eye or any of the other dogs at Gertie's Small Dog Rescue, you should definitely reach out to them. Um, they are a very small rescue. Uh, so they would really benefit from our love and attention too. So if you haven't heard about them, check them out, get in touch. How can we help? And uh, hopefully Sherlock's going to be home for the holidays really soon. And the information for Gertie's is right on the screen. So check that out. Reach out if you're interested. And again, right? Like Jenny said it, the elephant in the room. We feature a lot of big dogs, right? Uh, that is the bulk of what is available and ready to go out there. So it's rare mm -hmm. that we get these small dogs. If this is what you are looking for in the future, think you'll be looking for, reach out to Gertie's now. Get the application process going. Figure out a way to get in front of them so that when it is that time, you're at the top of the list because you're already in, you're ready to go, and they've already vetted you. Absolutely. that's the. I think that that's a 
tack that everybody should take. And uh, I, I'm just so looking forward to seeing where Sherlock ends up because somebody's going to be really lucky and uh, really fortunate to have this little guy join their family. Absolutely. And just in time for the holidays, too, you can put the little Santa hat on him, put him on your Christmas uh, card. That would be really cute. <laughs> Plenty of time for that. Excellent. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for finding Sherlock and bringing him to our attention. I'm sure we'll be back next week and you'll have another amazing dog for us. I will. And we're going to be talking about some fundraisers that are coming up. I got the Second Chance, a Night of Second Chances Gala is coming up. Santa Paws with Recyclables coming up. We're going to dive into it all and uh, we'll start that next week. Very, very cool. Again, anything you need, reach out, let us know. This is 95X Cares, your community animal rescue effort brought to you by the Law Office of William Mattar.